Finding out how somebody utilizes their credit cards can be insightful and a great way to see how they're maximizing their credit cards multipliers. Or at the same time, it could show you how to not use your credit cards. I'm not sure which one I am, so let's find out. Welcome back to Tito's Credit Cards, where we talk about cashback and points and how to maximize your redemptions. If that's something that interests you, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. That's right, it's that time of the year where we're gonna go ahead and crack open my wallet and see which credit cards I'm currently utilizing to get the most points for every single dollar that I put on my credit cards. This is how I utilize my credit cards on a normal day to day. So we're not gonna be doing a full deep dive into each single one of these credit cards. Rather, we're just gonna be talking about how I utilize the credit card and why I use each credit card for each transaction and if you do want to see a full deep dive into any of these credit cards let me know down in the comments below the first credit card that we're going to cover is the chase freedom flex card and this credit card has a no annual fee and while yes this is much more my wife's credit card i am added as an authorized user on the credit card to be able to get a physical card so that whether she's out and about or it's me one of us will have a credit card to get to utilize the multipliers that are available so what multipliers are available? You can get a 5X back on all travel that you purchase directly through the Chase Travel Portal, as well as being able to get a 3X return on all dining transactions, as well as pharmacy transactions. But being honest with you guys, the main reason that we're using this credit card is for its current welcome bonus that's available. And that is that you are able to get a 10X multiplier. That's right, 10 points per dollar on all grocery transactions on up to $12,000 worth of spend or in the first year that you have this credit card. So what we're gonna be doing is that whenever she goes to the grocery store or I go to the grocery store, this will be the main credit card that we utilize it, as well as making sure that whenever we buy gift cards, especially for quinceañeras, birthdays, weddings, or New Year's, we're gonna be buying all those gift cards at the grocery store to make sure that we get that 10x multiplier and for the next quarter or for the next three months we'll also be utilizing this card as our gas station credit card because gas transactions is one of the rotating quarterly categories for q3 of 2024 so we'll get a 5x return on all gas transactions on up to fifteen hundred dollars of combined spending the next credit card that we're going to be talking about is the fame american express gold card it does have an annual fee of $250. And I'll be honest, this used to be my grocery credit card before I got the Chase Freedom Flex card because it would give out a 4X multiplier on all grocery transactions. However, now it will be my exclusive dining credit card because it also does offer a 4X multiplier on all dining transactions. And I also wanna make sure that I keep utilizing this charge card so that every single month I'm able to utilize the two $10 monthly credits that are available. And that is that it offers a $10 Uber slash Uber Eats credit or a $10 dining credit. So again, I am utilizing both of those credits so that at the end of the year, my effective annual fee will be as low as $10. Hey, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button since, well, you know, it's free. The next credit card that I'm currently using is the Chase Inc. Cash credit card. Now this is a business credit card, but as I covered on this video, it is not that difficult to get approved for a business credit card. It does not have an annual fee, which is great. And the main reason that I utilize this credit card is that every single month I'm putting my Verizon bill on this credit card since it does give me a 5X multiplier on my cell phone bill. And I do add my YouTube TV subscription as well as my Apple Music subscription. And I think a couple others that I can remember that are five or six dollars a month. But for every single one of those subscriptions, I'm able to get a 5X multiplier since everything is condensed into the Verizon bill. On top of your cell phone bill, it does also offer a 5X multiplier on cable and phone services. This credit card also offers a 5X multiplier on all office supply stores, like Office Max, where you can go in and whatever you buy, you would be able to get a 5X multiplier, which used to be my go-to whenever I had to buy gift cards. But now with the Chase Freedom Flex card and its welcome bonus of a 10X multiplier, this credit card is gonna go ahead and take a backseat 
until that welcome bonus runs out. This credit card also does offer a 2x multiplier on all gas station as well as restaurant transactions, but as you saw with the previous two credit cards, they do offer a higher multiplier. The fourth credit card that's in my wallet and that I do utilize on a daily basis is the Capital One Venture X credit card. Now, this credit card does have an annual fee of $395, and this is really my catch all credit card because it does offer a 2x multiplier on all transactions. So whether I'm going to Home Depot, Sam's Club, Dick's Sporting Goods, or any other store, I know I would at least be getting two points per dollar spent on this credit card, which is amazing. And was one of the reasons why I selected this credit card over the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, as well as the American Express Platinum card. Also with my traveling, this credit card has come in clutch and being able to offer me airport lounge access thanks to the Priority Pass membership that is available with this credit card. I do believe that the amount of money that I've saved in food as well as drinks when visiting any of the airport lounges that I've visited so far is almost the same as the annual fee of this credit card, and I still have a good six to seven months before my first anniversary. And the last credit card that I do utilize on a day-to-day -day, or rather month-to-month -month basis is the World of Hyatt credit card, and it does have an annual fee of $95. And being honest with you guys, the only reason that I utilize this credit card is because it does offer a 2x multiplier on all gym memberships. So right now for my wife and myself, I am paying the gym monthly membership through this credit card since I am able to get two points per dollar. But if this credit card wasn't there or I didn't have this credit card, I would just put those transactions on the VentureX credit card. But otherwise, I can't really say there's a lot of benefits with the World of Hyatt credit card. It does have a free night award that I'm about to get since I've had this credit card for almost a year, but otherwise it's a bit of a snoozer to be honest with you guys. So as you can see, these are my five credit cards that I'm utilizing on my normal day to day, as well as why I utilize each one of them and why I think I'm getting the highest multiplier with this specific credit cards. Now, as of right now, I think I'll be utilizing these cards for the summer and maybe until the end of this year, but I am looking into the Chase Inc. preferred credit card due to its massive welcome bonus. I might end up and applying for that credit card just so that I can go ahead and cancel my Chase Sapphire preferred just because of the welcome bonus, but at the same time, I would still have the ability of transferring all my ultimate reward points out to Chase's transfer partners. And with having the Chase Inc. preferred card, I think I can finally close the book on Chase when it comes to applying for their credit cards. I do believe I have all the credit cards that I need, and I think I will be ready to jump into other banks and really see what other credit cards I'm able to get. But that's a discussion for another video. With that being said, I want to know, what credit cards will you be utilizing this summer and for the rest of the year? Let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, if you found any information useful during this video, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.